Today's subject is dollies and dolly shots. Basically what it is, is a rig similar to the one that I have right here, which is used to capture smooth tracking motion shots that you see in skate videos a lot for lifestyle shots, b-roll shots, and just a whole different point of view of the actual trick that's being done. In the end, giving you a cinematic, more professional look to what you're shooting. There are a lot of different types of dollies available, some more expensive and less expensive, some skate friendly, some not skate friendly dollies out there. The one that I'm going to show you is a little bit more skate friendly. It's one that I made with my friend Spencer, which basically is two pieces of fencing uh, poles and you can cut them to whatever size you want. I just made mine so I could fit it in my trunk. On the bottom of them are just two basic brackets that are screwed in to the two poles to hold them together. So when you're out skating, it's really easy to carry it around. You don't have to have two poles, you know, and the bag and everything. Like they just, they lock up and that's it. And then they're just, you can hold it. I mean, it's super light. It's easy to carry around. The brackets at the bottom also help it stabilize the, the rig so it's not shaking on the ground or the poles are rolling and, and giving it an un unstable image when you're filming. When we were coming up with the design for this one, we wanted to keep it simple, portable and lightweight to be able to fit it in a backpack. So when we're out skating, throw in the backpack and just carry that. It's just easy to move around. We just set up the angle iron to be able to hold the wheels at a 45 degree angle, which is what you need to properly attach it to the tracking system, which allows it to slide like so, which gives it a clean glide. There's a lot of different types of tripod mounts as well. The one that I chose was this three-way tripod mount, which allows me to move it up and down uh, sideways and just kind of just gives me a, a lot of different angles to work with and doesn't just lock me down to just one one shot. A couple things you should remember when you're shooting with a dolly rig is to try to start before the subject comes into frame and start with a fluid consistent motion and be aware of your space on the track so you can come to a slow smooth stop and not fall off. <laughs> not, not that. <laughs> For this shot, I'm going to be starting nice and smooth. You do want more? This shot I'm going to start later when the skater's already in frame, which is what you don't want to do. It, it creates a jittery, shaky movement. Also, something you want to remember with a rig like this is you want to have it down on a flat surface so the track doesn't shake around and it's more stable. And try to avoid laying it down on grass that, or anything like that to avoid any interruptions with the wheels so they're not bouncing around because the whole point of the dolly is to have a nice, clean, smooth shot. Keep these wheels clean and keep any kind of debris or dirt or anything off of them because they're going to bounce when they're on the track even if you're on a flat surface. So you want to keep the track clean as well because the whole point is to keep everything smooth and you can't have any dirty mud or anything on here because it's going to ruin your whole shot and you're going to be bummed. And I hate being bummed. So that's a little insight on dolly rigs and how they're used. Hopefully you learned a little bit about them today. And like I said before, this is just one of many rigs that are available out there. This is just the one that I prefer because of the lightweight and the ruggedness about it. It's very tough. I've had it for about four years and it cost me about 50 bucks to make it. It's very easy to set up, take it out of the backpack, throw the rails on the ground and it's good to go for when you need those shots. And of course you don't want to just film your whole video dolly shots, but it's nice to have that point of view when the time for that shot comes up. The portability of it, is that a f***ing word? I'm like, dude, I feel bad now every time I've ever put someone behind camera to talk, because I'm, I'm like never behind it, so I'm just like, 
All right, we good?